In our construction sites, excavation operations are considered to be one of the most dangerous activities for workers because of the number of accidents that can happen such as wall collapse, the risk of falling materials, debris stored too close to the excavation. One of the major risks remains a potential asphyxiation following the accumulation of toxic gases or lack of oxygen. There are other risks related to the accumulation of water at the bottom of the trenches or two adjacent activities under the site. Also the risk due to the presence of underground installations. In a construction site, we may have to dig a trench whose base width is less than its depth or an excavation whose base width exceeds its depth. In order to avoid any collapse, we must always plan the excavation activity, namely determining the type of soil and the depth of the ditch and an identification of the necessary control measures and risk management. This planning is mandatory. It is carried out by a competent person who will be responsible for these steps. To control the risk of collapse, there are different types of protection systems used depending on the depth of the excavation, the nature of the soil and other factors. For example, we can set up an embankment slope per bench around the walls of the activation to prevent debris from falling onto the unfortunate fallen and stuck worker. We can also proceed by sloping, by cutting the walls of excavation in an angle that is tilted outwards. The sides of the trench are also supported by aluminium, wood or steel panels. This specific system is called shielding. In order to prevent workers, equipment or materials from falling, we systematically ensure that all installations placed at least one meter from the excavation are provided with warning signs and rigid barriers. For trenches greater than 0.5 meters in depth, appropriate access and exit means must be installed to access the trenches. In addition, all equipment and heavy machinery must be kept at a distance of 3 meters from the edge of the trench. The excavation must be inspected at the start and end of the work or during climate change. Before starting the excavation process, obtaining the specific permit for the excavation as well as the emergency plan is mandatory as you may face risks inherent to the activities of the excavation site or to the presence of toxic and flammable gases. In addition, before access to an excavation, it is imperative to ensure that all means of risk control, such as personal protective equipment, gas evacuation and ventilation devices are available. These excavation controls and procedures help us save lives and provide a sound work environment.